As Australia uses immigration law like a bit of a blunt weapon with controversy surrounding detention on Christmas Island, on Nauru, on Manus, a New Zealander has now been held in a maximum security prison in Perth for over two months. This is Kor Hapu, a former Lance Corporal in the New Zealand Army who served in Afghanistan where he was seen fit to be in a security detail looking after John Key. But in Perth he joined a bikey gang. He has no criminal convictions and there are no charges against him, but he's been held in prison under immigration laws that have seen his visa revoked on character grounds. His partner is Teresa Mariner. I asked her if over two months after Haku was simply thrown in prison, he's been charged with anything yet. Um, no, John, he still has no charges at all. Okay. In the meantime, he is being kept in Casarina prison, which is maximum security. Can you describe it for me? Um, well, yeah, it's a, it is a maximum security prison. Um, you know, there's metal detectors, sniffer dogs, barbed wire fences, lots of checks to get through to see him. Um, not a lot of contact, guards everywhere. It's just not a, it's not a very nice place to visit. And he is in a cell reserved for really bad criminal offenders. This is a man with no criminal convictions and no charges against him. How does he spend his day? Okay, so he's locked in his cell from uh, quarter to six at night till when the guards decide to let them out in the morning. Um, he is with one other inmate in the um, cell. So it's a room by probably about two by two. Um, and they've got a bed in there. They've got, they do have a TV now and a fan because there isn't any air conditioning in the, um, in the prison. It's been extremely hot here. So he's suffered with the heat. Um, but yeah, he spends his day, he gets let out for his meals and to have a shower and then he's locked back in his cell for okay. the rest of the day. What is his mental state now, Teresa? Oh, he's angry. He's really, really angry. He's angry. He's let down. He's upset. Um, he's confused. We can't get any information as to why he's there, how long he's going to be there from anybody. And he's just getting really, really angry. And the problem is that if he gets too angry, he's going to do something which will actually justify him being in prison, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what, well, you know, he has these bad days where he's really frustrated and I sort of try and talk to him and, you know, they're just trying to push and they're trying to get the reaction they want. So it's, it's hard for him to stay calm, obviously, in the, in the surroundings he's in. He's in there with murderers and rapists and all sorts of people and they can't be the nicest people to be around, especially when you're not a criminal. <laughs> So um, he, he, he is frustrated. What is their treatment of you now when you go to visit him, Teresa, as Cor's partner? Um, hasn't over the Christmas period to the month of December, obviously that's a horrible time of year to not be together to start with. Uh, we had a lot of issues within the prison system. Um, booking is getting cancelled without our knowledge. Um, a Christmas party that children were meant to attend um, when we got to the gate our daughter was told she wasn't allowed to go in obviously she was extremely upset by that um, there is one guard in particular who I have a lot of problems with who makes sexual remarks about my clothing and my body um, but I'm I am just getting a, a complaint in um, in regards to that because it's just not it's not a nice place to visit as it stands and without the added pressure yeah you know it's just it's just not nice What's your sense of what's happening here now? Because it's over two months and there is just nothing changing, is there? This is your life. This is Cor's life. There are no charges. He's just in a kind of limbo, an awful limbo. Well, yeah, he's in, he's in that prison and he's being treated as a prisoner. Uh, you know, as far as we're concerned, he's an immigration detainee. Um, but he has the same rights as a, a criminal who's been tried and charged for their crimes. He's, a, you know, he's being treated as a prisoner. And we're just, uh, uh, we're just really confused and we can't understand how any of this can be happening. Um, I just, it's confusion more than anything and frustration because no one can tell us anything. Just seems that he's going to be held there for as long as anyone sees fit. And um, yeah, it just doesn't seem to be ever coming to an end at any point. Theresa Mariner, Cor Hapu's partner. Now, if you think that sounds like a situation of uncertainty without end, the lawyer acting for Cor Hapu fears that may in fact be right. Barrister Michael Penner Reese says the Minister Peter Dutton has been given immense power. Well, you, you're correct, and it is very difficult. What you have is um, what was previously a, a situation where there was the judicial authority to review uh, the 
the law. Uh, that doesn't uh, occur in these types of matters, uh, migration matters in Australia, because the Minister has total authority. And the only way in which a matter can be taken before the Federal Court is on a judicial review, that is, that the Minister made an error at law, and uh, that's how we're approaching it, and we say that there has been a number of errors made by the Minister.